How did you make a mini recording? Come on. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what you're doing. Nope. You don't Here, know here's about. another. I'm going to have to do one at a time because it might be too much in this hand for, for two boxes. Jello lime flavor. Jello. <laughs> In the Pyrex pan, I have a set of measuring cups. I guess you want to be one fourth cup. A third, I guess. Yes, one third of a cup. One half cup and one cup. Mm -hmm. This recipe calls for two cups of boiling water. We need the boiling water because it melts the jello. We have to stir until the water, until the jello dissolves. So that's your two cups of boiling water. And you can turn the water off now. And we will stir the jello and water mix until the jello has completely dissolved. This is such an easy recipe, even your kids can do this. And jello is so good, it tastes so good. <laughs> and it's good for you. It is. Gelatin is healthy for your hair, skin, and nails. I think if we use... We're going to do two? I don't think so. It'll be too full. I like thick, though. It'll be all the way to the top. That's going to be way too much. I thought you did um, two before in that one. In this pan? Yeah. I don't think so. I may have done um, I don't remember. a small one and a big one. Uh-huh. Until it's dissolved. 
she don't feel any more grit in the bottom of that. So come on. So it's like, it's right here. So another cup of water. Uh, it's going to be too full. You have to add more water or no? I got to add some cold water now. Oh, okay. Two cups of cold water. Two cups boiling water, two cups cold. Still a little bit not dissolved right there. You should have made this last night a little bit ready today. Now it's gonna have to set in there a long time. from the cold water. I'm not moving the camera because I don't want it to be like um, you know when you move your camera too much. Shaky. One cup of coal and I use like one and a half cups of coal so my jello will be formed and easy to cut into blocks. About a half. And a half of coal. There you go. And then you put it in the fridge. And then you yes. stir it, mix it up real good. Then you put a piece of foil over it and set it in the refrigerator for hours until it gels. And to keep it, from, you can put it up, to keep it from spilling, set, set it in the refrigerator first and then put the foil over. That way you don't spill it on the way over to the refrigerator. So you're going to put it on the first shelf? Um, I guess. You put it in the I can't do it. Well, Why? Why can't you do it? It's still on the video. We're done. Okay. Time to put it in the refrigerator. Is it heavy? No. And so I'll leave it uncovered till I get to the refrigerator. That way I can see that it is not spilling. And once I get it in here, you can cover it with foil or Plastic wrap. 